Hey guys, Jim here. Um, happy weekend, everyone. It's Friday, Friday night. I just got home from work and I found this package in my mailbox. This was my, this is my PSA return, uh, my first ever submission. Um, I've opened the box, but I haven't looked at any of the cards, so I um, have no idea what the grades are on these. Um, so, without any further ado, let me get started. Okay, okay, good. They all looks like they're upside down, so that's good. These are the ones that actually got rejected. I decided not to have them sent in. The guy I send them to, he looks them over and he uh, messaged me about these three. Um, they've all got little issues. This one has a little print defect. You can't see it on the video, but underneath his nose there. Um, they've all got some scratches on the surfaces and stuff. So he said, yeah, so I told him, don't submit those. So we put those aside. I did my um, preview video on May the 5th. So um, basically two months and 20 days. I sent them in the next day on the 6th. So that wasn't too bad really um, so anyway <clears throat> this is a 2011 tops pro debut Christian Yelich um, I actually got this card out of one of those Fairfield pharmacy packs for four dollars and ninety nine cents uh, it looked like it was in pretty nice shape so I decided to send it in and okay got a nine Good, I'll take that. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of expectations on these cards. I see a lot of guys doing their videos when they get their returns in, especially, you know, the first few times, the first time, or, you know, when they're new at submitting, like obviously I am. Um, they every People seem to be very disappointed on the grades that they get. So I just kind of looked at it as a learning experience. I've, I've learned a lot in the process about, you know, looking at the cards and what to look for and so forth. And, um, you know, plus that, I it, it was a lot of fun doing the submission. So um, there's that one. Okay, this is a Cody Bellinger 2018, 2017 Cody Bellinger. This is his one of his rookie cards, tops. It yeah, got a ten, sweet. Oh, I love that. I back in February I bought a, a Bowman first Bowman Cody Bellinger um, in like I don't know seven or eight of these. Well, not just this, but the the um, MLB debut and um, the All Star card. There was like eight rookie cards plus the the gem mint 10 um bowman and this came in there and i'm psyched that that got a 10. okay next up i've got a justin verlander this is his rookie card um 2005 tops i don't even remember where i got this it got a 10. Oh, man. That's so awesome. Oh, I'm happy about that. Nice. What do I have next? Okay, next up is uh, Nolan Arenado. Um, this is uh, 2013 Tops Update. Uh, I actually pulled this out of um, one of Filmington's rookie card explosion boxes. Um, it looked pretty nice, so I decided to send it in, and it got a 10. <laughs> That's awesome. Very happy. Okay, next up I got a Mike Stanton. Um, this Mike Stanton... Uh, John Carlo Stanton, if you will. This is, uh, I forget what year it is, but I uh, I bought this on eBay real cheap. It was it was graded by another company and off 
some off-brand grading company that I never heard of before. <clears throat> and the guy was asking like twelve ninety nine or something. And I ended up shooting him a low ball offer like like seven ninety nine, which maybe even was a little too high for this card. I'm not sure, but um, I busted it out of the slab that it was in, and I decided to send it into PSA. So let's see, ten, nice. It's twenty oh eight Dunruss Elite Mike Stanton. It's an extra edition. John Carlo Stan. I believe it's his rookie, one of his rookie cards, one of his rookie cards. It's a nice looking card. I, I kind of actually like that card a lot. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Okay, this card now, um, it's the only football card. It's a Tom Brady. It's a rookie. It's 2000 Victory. Um, this card actually was another card that he told me he said oh it's got a little ding on it and the corners are a little soft and he was saying that it might only get a seven a seven but um i told him to submit this anyway because i didn't care um i got this card for free i acquired it somehow um but um tom brady uh, i'm a big patriots fan and tom brady obviously is tom brady so i wanted this slabbed and um, I didn't really care what the grade was, and it got an 8, so that's good. That is good. I was thinking, he told me it would probably get a 7, and it got an 8, so that's nice. Very nice. What do I have next here? Okay, this is an Albert Pujols upper deck rookie card. Um... I forgot the year, but um, yeah, it's his rookie card. It got a nine. It's okay. I had this card forever. It's a 2001. I think I pulled it out of a pack back in 2001. So it got a nine. That's cool. I'll take it. It's mint. Okay, next up is a, a vintage card. This is another one that I really didn't care about the grade of it. It's Kalia Stremski, um, one of my favorite players on the Red Sox when I was growing up. It's a uh, 1964 Topps. Um, it's to me, it looked off center, and obviously it's vintage. So I mean, it's the corners are soft, and I don't really care what the grade is on this. It's a five. That's fine. I didn't care. I just wanted it slabbed, and I mean, five is okay too for 64. So um, I'll take it. Okay, next up I've got a Derek Jeter, um, Tops, 1993, Derek Jeter, 90, 92 or 93, it's the draft pick, got a 9, that's okay, that's another card I think I pulled from a pack back in 93. Good. Okay, next up I've got Wade Boggs. This is his rookie card, a uh, Flair rookie card, 1983. Um, another card that I've had forever, and it got a 9 too. Cool, 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 cool. Um... Next up, I've got a Roger Clemens rookie card, 1985, Tops, 85, yep, 85, uh, another one of my Red Sox players, got an eight and a half, near mint to mint, that's okay, I'll take it. Next up, I got a Tony Gwynn rookie card. Um, Donruss, 1983, Tony Gwynn, got a six, that's, um, a little lower than I thought it might get, but that's okay, at least now it's slabbed, and I probably won't ever sell it anyway, so, 
that's good. I'm going to look at that better though and figure out. Well, I can see right off the bat that it's off center some. And it actually might even be a little discolored around the edges actually as I look at it now. It's definitely off center left to right. Or right to left, depending on how you want to look at it. Anyway, cool. Okay, next up I've got another vintage car. This is a 1965 Willie Stargell. Uh, I thought this card looked like it was in pretty good condition for a 65. That's Willie Stargell obviously was a great player with the Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Pirates. It got an 8. That's nice. That's a good grade for a 65. I'm very happy with that. All right, good. Next up, I got another vintage card. It's Willie Mays. I'm having a hard time getting these out now as I get to the bottom. Willie Mays, 1967. Tops, number 200. Uh, we all know Willie Mays. Got a six. That's cool. We'll take a six on that one. Nice. Getting down to the, getting down near the end here. I got three more, I think. This is a, um, I actually got this card at a card show not too long ago. It's a 2014 Bryce Harper, Donruss Diamond Kings. I believe it's numbered to, I can't remember what. And they got a 10, which is sweet. It's number five out of 272. A 270, yeah, 272. It's a nice looking card. I like it. I wish Hopper would bring his batting average up a little bit, but um, he'll get there, I guess. I think I got another Bryce Hopper in here, too. It'll be the last one. This card here is a 1992 Upper Deck Cal Ripken. Then and now, it was an insert card. Um, TN4. Um, I don't think this card's worth all that much, even graded, but um, it's a nice card. I like it. I think it's a pretty cool card, so that's why I sent it in. It got a 9. Nice. Nice. It's This is a nice looking card. I like this card. Great. The last one, I think, is a Bryce Hopper as well. It is. Okay. This is a Bryce Hopper as well. It's a um, 2015 Bryce Hopper uh, Panini. Uh, it's another serial numbered card. I got this at the same place I got the last one. And that got a 10 too. That's a press proof. Nice. Good. I'm pretty happy, guys. I uh, I um, I think I did all right for my first my first submission. Let's see. I'm gonna go through these real quick here. That. The only one I was kind of a little disappointed with was that Tony Gwynn. You know, the vintage cards you're not going to expect to get, you know, very high grades. I mean, I'm happy with that 8 on that Stargell, but, um, you know, typically with vintage cards, they're not going to, you're not going to get 9s and 10s out of them, obviously. So, yeah, so um, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 10s, 6 10s. And one, two, three, four, five nines. Um, an eight and a half. An eight. Another eight. Then I've got the two sixes. And the uh, Yaz yeah, five. Awesome. It was great. A lot of fun. 
I actually just sent in my second submission yesterday. I did a video on it, but it got all messed up, so I, I didn't. I deleted it. But um, I just sent in 24 more cards yesterday, and probably the end of October they should be back. So awesome! Thanks for watching.